Hey, hey, hey! So I finally got, well I said finally, it's the beginning of the month, but I got my May BoxyCharm base box. So I wanted to go through this with you and we will see how much the value of my box is. So let's see. It looks like the theme for this month is Super Bloom. All right. And then the first thing that I grabbed is Skin Ink Serum Glow Filter. Glow up with the world's first skincare makeup, Serum Glow Filter. Blending beauty and technology in one bottle, this clever concoction is formulated with rare gold hibiscus extract and Skin Ink's top two best-selling serums, niacin niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, to give you a selfie filter in real life. It's perfect for day use and is personalized to your skin tone using light reflective technology that enables external light to bounce off your skin, creating a glowy, pearlized finish and reduced appearance of pores and red skin tone. Retail price is $50. Now, I think the video that I watched, she also got this and it was a little weird. So we're definitely going to try this out. Y'all know I have red, I have some very natural redness in my cheeks and, um, we'll see. Okay. If the, if the product is up for the challenge, we'll see. Okay. The next thing I'm going to grab is the big item. I have to say, this is the pharmacy honeymoon glow body 12% AHA BHA resurfacing body serum. A body hydrating and resurfacing serum that instantly softens rough skin and eliminates bump with AHAs and BHAs, leaving skin remarkably smooth with a lit from within glow. Retail price for this one is $40. I think her name is Elizabeth. I don't know. There's a little bit of scuff marks right there. Look at that. That doesn't look, doesn't look very nice. But I am actually... It's not open or anything. I'm actually really excited to use this because they say it's good for, um, not eczema, but like those little spots you get on your arms and my son has that. So I'm very excited to see if this will help him with that. All right. And the next thing. On my list is the item that I chose. And this is the Ciate London Dewy Blush. Dewy Blush is a next-gen gel balm tint blush that is set to shake up and refresh your beauty routine. Gone are the days of chalky powder blush. With an ultra lightweight finish, Dewy Blush leaves just a subtle hint of color that you apply to the cheek, blending effortlessly into a modern glass-like sheen. Formulated with natural extracts of yuzu and dragon fruit, the blush brightens your base leaving the skin with an even and healthy flush of color. This retails for $22. So they had a couple of shades available. I did Google, um, obsessively I do this, um, swatches of the different shades. And the lightest shade, I was going to pick it at first, um, but then I saw this shade pomegranate and it's a little bit more rosy. And I figured it might... I don't know how to explain it. It might come up a little bit more red like my, my cheeks are. It's a very tiny package for $22. Yep, $22. Okay. So let's see if we can try it out and see the color. Yeah, see this may be too dark. I don't know, but I was kind of like, you could just use a little bit. See, but if like if you blend it out, then I think it's like the perfect little. Obviously, like a little bit will go a long way with these. But I got the color pomegranate. Um, so let me know if you chose this and what color you chose and if you've tried it and if you like it. All right, next thing. V Cosmetic Creamy Liquid Velvet Lipstick. Unlike any other lip color you've ever seen, this liquid velvet lipstick is the product you need to add to your makeup kit. Formulated to be creamy, lightweight, and long-wearing, make a unique statement with your fashion-forward vibe. 
This also retails for $22. So they gave the shade Bubbly. See, I'm not one of those people. Like, I've watched Allie Dawson, and, um, you know, she's like, this is not a shade for me. I'm like, bitch, just try it. Bitch. Oh, that would look nice on me. You know, with the right eye look, like, you can pull off almost any lipstick. So I'm eager to try this out, too. Okay. And the last thing that I got in my box is the Basic Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. This is an eyelid primer base. This is an eyelid primer base formulated with hemp seed oil to moisturize and maximize color intensity for a crease-free look that lasts for up to 12 hours. Retails for $18. Okay. So. No, you're going to stay on my desk, little boxy. Little boxy, okay. And it's kind of funny because I have been trying uh, eyeshadow bases and like cream shadow because the one that I use from Unique is a cream shadow. It is like $26 and it's perfect for my eye, like the, the color of my eyelid, like it's perfect, but it's $26 for a cream eyeshadow. And I'm just like, there's got to be something that works just as good. So I have been spending a lot more money than that trying to find something to replace it. So this is the <laughs> eyelid primer. Kind of had to squeeze to get that out of there. And then it almost feels empty. Look at this. Look at that tube. Okay, for what was it, eighteen dollars? So you smooth it out. Oh, it smooths. Okay, I don't know if you all can see this. <laughs> like this went on like a liquid. This is going on like a balm, but like thicker than a balm. I can't even explain that. Maybe it's like an eye primer, and it does have a slight scent to it that I can't place. But anyway, all right. So that is everything I got in my May box, and that has a value of a hundred. And fifty-two dollars, so that is definitely above the twenty-five, twenty-seven dollar purchase point. Definitely happy about that. Um, let's see, the blush, the lipstick, and the eyeshadow. I'm going to count the eyeshadow primer as makeup. So three makeup products: the serum glow filter. Yeah, I don't know if that would be as like a primer. Or skincare because I would it's like skin ink so I would so three makeup and two skincare is okay but I want more makeup I have selected mostly makeup less skincare let's get more makeup it should be at least like four out of five should be makeup okay I don't want no three out of five all right that ain't good enough I pay for this service <laughs> and another thing is I want brands that I've actually heard of like the V cosmetic I'm sure it's a it's a nice lipstick and I'm definitely gonna try it out and then post a review um, and the basic beauty but you know you sign up for boxycharm it used to be that they had brands like NARS and like Morphe and you know Charlotte Tilbury popped up and you were getting really like high-end brands that were expensive but you weren't paying that expensive price tag so it's kind of a letdown when these brands when these companies send you stuff that is not as well known, even though it might be just as good of a product. I expect that with Ipsy, like with Ipsy, I'm fine. Like send me product from whatever company, but BoxyCharm, I want brands that I've heard of brands that I know are expensive. Okay. You cannot just send me a serum glow filter from a company that I've barely heard of and say, Oh, this retails for $50. It's good. And be like, Oh, okay. Well, if it's $50, that has to be good. No, 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 no. That ain't the way it works, boo. Mm -mm. So uh, dear BoxyCharm, do better, do better. I'm not completely disappointed with this box and like even the skincare items, I will try it and, and, and all that stuff. But 
do better boxycharm slash ipsy and i know that they're owned by the same company but guess what you could still keep the you know the ipsy brands over here and the boxycharm brands over here instead of combining them and stop pushing refreshments on me boxycharm because i'm not going to buy that if i was going to buy that i would buy that over on ipsy's website thank you very much thank you for coming to my TED talk <laughs> i can't eat it it's so ridiculous so, um, let me know if you, what you received in your May BoxyCharm box. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you've tried anything that I received, let me know. That lipstick is, is drying down kind of nice. I'm kind of eager to try it now. <laughs> um, that blush still looks sticky though. Um, but let me know if you've tried anything and, uh, whether you liked it or not, because I love hearing from you. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video because you never know what kind of content is going to pop up over here on this channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you very, very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!